Rural Bliss by Anthony Charles Dean. Read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio. The poet is, or ought to be, a hater of the city. And so, when happiness is mine, and Maud becomes my wife, we'll look on town inhabitants with sympathetic pity, for we shall lead a peaceful and serene Arcadian life. Then shall I sing in eloquent and most effective phrases the grandeur of geraniums and the beauty of the rose, immortalize in deathless strains the buttercups and daisies, for even I can hardly be mistaken as to those. The music of the nightingale will ring from leafy hollow, and fill us with a rapture indescribable in words, and we shall also listen to the robin and the swallow. I wonder if a swallow sings, and, well, the other birds. Too long I dwelt in ignorance of all the countless treasures which dwellers in the country have in such abundant store. To give a single instance of the multitude of pleasures, the music of the night in... Oh, I mentioned that before. And shall I prune potato trees and artichokes, I wonder, and cultivate the silo plant which springs... I hope it springs, in graceful foliage overhead. Excuse me if I blunder, it's really inconvenient not to know the name of things. No matter, in the future, when I celebrate the beauty of country life in glowing terms, and build the lofty rhyme, aware that every Englishman is bound to do his duty, I'll learn to give the stupid things their proper names in time meanwhile you needn't wonder at the view i've indicated the country life appears to me indubitably blessed for even if its other charms are somewhat overstated as long as maud is there you see what matters all the rest and a poem this recording is in the public domain